Good morning! Good morning! <laughs> it is our third day and we are ready to go. The night was cold today. I got cold before the sun rose on the coldest part of the morning and a lot of dew so my tent is really wet. I have to dry it out today. Luna has been a true champion on this trip. Like suddenly she's like this perfect hiking dog. She rarely pulls. Most of the time she uh, walks behind me. Of course she goes around a bit and wanders but never never like too forcefully. Of course it is still our third day of hiking so last time I had problems with Luna on the fourth day I guess. My theory is why Luna has been so good hiking dog now. I think that she has gained a lot of confidence while being back home, meeting a lot of new people and also uh, being with our family dog who is like fearless in every way. And I also think that she has learned to trust me more so she's not so nervous on the trail because when she gets nervous she will start to pull. I want to say that Ooh, I want to say that I want to eat these plants right now. We call it in Estonian bunny cabbage. Jana se kapsas. It tastes really sour. Mm -mm. But good. So what I want to say about Luna is I guess you just have to give time to talks that are fearful who have been mistreated or seen a lot of bad things in their life. They just need some time to regain that confidence. At least that's what I think. And now we shall start to climb the highest point in Estonia. It doesn't seem so steep in the camera. Oh my god, I sound like a wuss, but no, no, it's quite steep. Made it the first stage. And I bet that this is the best view we can get because a bit higher the trees are in the way. So it isn't the Annapurna circuit, but pretty good considering the fact that you don't have many views like this in Estonia. Luna, you would like to run, yes? Well, you have to wait for me. Okay, and let, now let's start the stage two of climbing the Suur Munamägi. They officially call it the killer's ascent, so let's see how much we will be killed at the end of it. Nuna, ready? Of course, always. You are the slow one. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go. Lame, dupli. Yeah, lame, lame. Oh, we made it. Ooh, was it worth it? Ah, uh, for the views, probably not. This is all you can get. <laughs> but now I can officially say that I climbed the highest point of Estonia. Didn't use car, nothing. Climbed. Ooh. So that is the tower of Suur Munamägi. Really iconic in Estonia. We are very proud of our highest point. Do you know how high it is, Luna? Well, it's 318 meters. By the way, Suur Munamäki in translation means Big Egg Mountain. <laughs> really spot on name. Now, down, down we go. Look who I caught in my water. Oh, yes. Oh, now you see it. Ah, it looks disgusting. But no wonder I got my water from this little pond there. No shoes. 
chose. Look how cool! It's like a giant bird's nest or like crow, not crow. How do you call Tornagurg in English? I am treating myself to a podcast. I promised myself that uh, when I need to road walk a lot, then I can listen to a podcast. So there are quite many road sections here and they are not so fun. So listening to something makes the time go faster. My current favorite that I just discovered, Tim Ferriss. He has really awesome and deep, going deep uh, podcasts. Oh, Luna tangles me. Da -da -da. Right next to this uh, bird's nest watchtower is an old house or houses that were built like Viking houses with the original craftsman things and original materials and original ways of working. Oh yeah, you can see there is moss as an insulation. <laughs> oh, how cold it is here. So it says, welcome to the ancient farm. We are here in the living house of uh, Iron Age. And as of 2014, they are continuing the project by building the whole farm with these old houses. So this was the first house that was built in 2010-11. Cool! Like this is how people lived in the Iron Age. And think about where we are living now. Wow! Okay, so these are the new houses being built. I wonder if this is the animal yard. Probably. What else do you keep in here? Guys, look what I got. For 15 euros. Can you imagine? 15 euros. I get this house. With a big bed. Luna is already chilling. And I have shower there, toilet there, kitchen there, and awesome, gorgeous nature there. Oh my god, I have never done this before, but today um, it's one o'clock so. Okay, let's start. It's one o'clock and the heat is really, uh, it's really hot. I can't walk further anymore. And the next camping place actually isn't very far, 2.5 kilometers, but as uh, it is like, it is in a really weird place that you have to walk there and then walk back to continue on the trail. So five kilometers additional walking, not on the trail. So I don't want to do that. And as I was walking by here, I saw this place, I Googled it and it is so affordable. So I decided I will stay here tonight and I can continue tomorrow. I don't lose any days. I just win this awesome resting place. And guys, it's so funny that Oh, when you are hiking, every simple comfort you can get it makes you feel like you're the king and queen. So, ah! Luna just went to swim on the deepest lake of Estonia. If I remember correctly, it's 38 meters deep. So, yeah. But today it's almost 10 o'clock or a bit over 10 o'clock and today we are taking a zero day and the fact that I am in this lovely cabin does help a bit so I would love to stay another day there but my head started to hurt a bit so not not the worst but enough that I want don't want to hike with this head so instead we are walking towards the store now to buy some food for today and to get cash for the lovely landlord lady and also it promised 
like 27 degrees Celsius for today. That's too much for me. So I can already feel it's super hot. Luna, kas sa jääd mind siia ootama, kuni ma poes ära käin? Pood on seal. Ootad? Ma väga palun, et sa ootad. Anja. Two years ago when I got Luna, well like one and a half years ago when I got Luna and I when I tried to leave her waiting for me, she chewed on the leash and she chewed the leash off and ran towards me and waited behind the door. So it's a major success that she didn't chew the leash. Laura, dupli. Now she's over it. <laughs> okay, we have today's food. Let's go. I love these little houses so much. Oh, somebody is truly peeking out there. How much pool coming? Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> 